the business case scenario here is to display the flow of some increased transitions between departments in an organization. Step one, let's prepare our data using these three data files. Embryo's data, department data, department M, our metrics, our base table that has the transition records. Theoretically speaking, we need to achieve a SQL query. It should be something like that, showing increased data, source department, and destination department. As you can see here, we have two alias tables on department and another one on department M. Keep in mind that we can use this exact query in case we are using MVs or Incorta over Incorta as a data source. Incorta allows us to create the same results without even using a single line of SQL code. Let's do it. At first, we will upload the data files into data page, local data files, as our main data source. Next step, we will create the schema. Here you are, the main three tables. Now, let's create the two aliases. One alias on top of department M. We'll give it a name. A underscore the book M. Done. Save the changes. Next one alias on department table. We'll give it a name. Done. Save the changes. Very simple. Now we have created our tables. Let's apply the joins. Department in our base table as a child. Based on MBW number, the parent would be in the table on MBW number as well. Done. One more join on the same table based on department number. Parent table will be department on department number column. Done. Let's create the joins on our alias tables. Child table here will be the alias of department M based on the number. The parent here will be our base table, department M on MPV number. And one more join based on that. The from date on the alias table will be the to date on our base table. Last join will be on department number between a department number and a department to pick the name of the destination department. And due to a limitation in the thank you chart provided aggregation functions, we will create a formula column on our base table just to pick one corresponding to each ingredient in the transitions table to allow us some these ones 
to achieve the count of employees that, are, that have already existing transitions. Let's say, say it again. Do you like to explore the data? If yes, let's do that. I will display a blue number, last name, first name, source department, from date, to date. Let's display destination department. from the to date as well. Now let's exclude the source department that has no existing movements using not null operator. Fantastic. Let's save it in, in this folder, or let's create a new one. Okay, it's transitions. Yes. Now we saved our dashboard and here is the main insight. Yeah. Now let's create an insight to display only the source and department. And count of employees that have existing movements. Let's do it. Source. Destination. Our employees count that we have created using the formula columns. Now, as you can see, each movement has existing one. Now let's make it as an aggregated table to sum the created ones to achieve the count of employees. One more thing, we need to sort the source departments based on employees counts in descending order to allow us to have a vision of the department that has the most transitions of employees. Let's save. Now we are ready to create our sync chart, either from scratch using these exact columns, or simply let's duplicate this one. Edit. Change the aggregated table to sync. 
and here we go. Voila. As you can see here, we have each department, movement. In the toolkit, we are showing source to destination and our measure, which is employee count. Sorting the departments in the sending order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.